this gym with a win and just knock out our rival. So okay. Yeah. So let's do that again, but with an official version of it. Because <laughs> I wasn't speaking. Are you ready? Okay. So I'm here with senior post player Maura Schramm, who's headed to Georgia Tech to study biomedicine and as well play club lacrosse in theory. So just a quick question for you, Maura. Two Two-part question, I suppose. Number one, what was it like to play in front of your entire crowd here at Wilsonville? And two, what was it like to knock off the Falcons here today? It was the best feeling being able to leave this gym with a win with the people I love everywhere. And it was just, there are rivals. It felt great. Yeah. Thank you so much, and congrats on getting to 10 wins, and we're excited to see you girls play in uh, the culminating week tournament. So I'm here with senior facilitating point guard, Sydney Burns, who's headed to UC Davis for the next four years. And I just had a couple quick questions for you, Sid. After a great game tonight, I was curious, number one, what was it like to play in front of such a full crowd here tonight? I mean, it was really emotional just because it got so loud and it felt like things were pretty normal again. And it's kind of like we always dream of a senior night where people are cheering and standing and all of the seniors got standing ovations and it really meant something where it was not just 20 people standing, but it was the whole gym and people, our community came out to support and really show us love. So it was really meaningful and just the best way to end on a senior night. And number two is you guys were able to dethrone the Falcons one more time. And my belief is that it's the first time they've ever been swept by a league opponent. So if you could just talk about that for a couple minutes, I think we'd appreciate that. Um, I think it's really, it's really cool. It's kind of a full circle story last, uh, our first time Beating LaSalle was a um, pretty historical moment, and it was our sophomore year, and we couldn't finish it our, uh, um, when we played them again sophomore year, and then we beat them again junior year, couldn't finish it again th that same year. And so it's kind of just a full circle that we're able to beat them twice this year, and especially when there's no state championship to compare it to, and we probably would have been playing LaSalle in the state championship this, this kind of year. It's kind of it's kind of like something we can prove and something we can show and point to other people that we, we made a difference. And there it's, it's not a banner, but it's something we'll remember, and it's really meaningful to have that finish. A statement game, absolutely. And thank you so much, Sydney, for everything that you've done for us, uh, not just on the floor, but off it, too. Have a great uh, next four years, and congratulations. Thank you, Brian. Of course. So I'm here with senior post player Amelia Bishop, who just had a splendid second half that was historical in its own right. That being said, she'll be headed to the University of Northern Colorado to be a bear in the fall. So a couple questions for you, Emmy. Number one is to be able to play your senior night in front of the most full crowd that we've had all year. Can you talk me through how that felt and what the energy meant to you guys? I mean, it was awesome. I It kind of reminded me of last year um, when we played them on our youth night and we had all the gr young girls come to our game and in we were down by 13 points going into the fourth quarter and with like three minutes left we ended up coming back and winning and it really just brought me back to that time where like we could we knew people cared about us a little bit like I think it's always um, a struggle being a girls program in any sport because boys get tend to get more recognition but I think that tonight all of our hard work kind of paid off and we knew that everybody here that came wanted to be there and wanted su success for us um, and I mean I think 
it's a huge thank you to everybody that came because no matter how small the voice it has an impact and it lets us know that we're doing the right things to leave a legacy uh, behind at Wilkinwood High School. So. And then number two, let's talk a little bit about that legacy. So it has come to my attention that it's the first time LaSalle has been beaten by a league opponent twice in the same year. And in addition, I know you and I were just talking about how you guys have another piece of history um, that has occurred against the Falcons. So if we could talk about that for a minute, I think everyone is dying to hear. Yeah, so my sophomore year, we beat them to end their 83-game winning streak, and it was the first time um, somebody had beaten them. I think we won in the brick oven, which was pretty much unheard of. Um, and they've kind of just been, we're the powerhouse, and I mean, when you have a team that's good, you have to respect them and have to know, like, they're going to come out and give you their best, and that's what we've also had to learn. And so we have kind of taken them as, okay, this is who they were, and this is what we want to be. So we have to have that respect, but also be like, okay, we need to do better. We need to become better. We need to work harder. Um, and so coming into the tournament my sophomore year when we lost to them, and then last year where we lost to them um, at in the brick oven and then beat them here on our youth night and then – um, lost, and then we're going to get to play against them in the same game that they had beaten us the year before in the tournament. It was kind of, like, I don't want to say this, but it was a little bit of a revenge game because we were like, we didn't get that opportunity. And so we knew the first time we came out, it was too close for comfort, and we knew we were better than them. And so this time I think it just really showed, and we were all talking in the locker room, like, this is the best we have played together, I think, in all four years um, that I've gotten the chance to be a Wildcat at Wilson High School. So I think that was really cool and like to leave a legacy of excellence for the younger girls to be like, this is what you can be and this is what you can do and you can have so much fun while doing it. Like I think a lot of times people think hard work is scary, but the opportunity to come in and do your best and beat teams that are well respected is one of the best and most fun opportunities that I think anybody can have their life. So, yeah. So, tough and together this Wilsonville team was on this night, more so than the Falcons. 62-44 is the final, and Wilsonville takes the season series. Thank you so much, and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Tune in to our podcast. Do that, definitely. <laughs> who will be headed to Hope International, furthering her basketball career just next fall. And a couple questions for you. Number one is, what was it like to play in front of the most full crowd that we had seen all year? Uh, it was a really good feeling. It was something that um, we haven't been able to feel in over a year, and so that was pretty special. And for it to be on senior night, you, you kind of just felt a different energy in the gym. And you could, it meant a lot to everybody, and not only just the seniors, but it felt good to have it pretty packed in here. <laughs> and then feeding off of that one, being able to dethrone the Falcons once more, that's twice on the year for everyone who's tuning in. What was that like? And can you talk me through being able to beat that club twice? I mean, it was a big talk in the locker room before the game. We were like, this team hasn't been beat by the same team twice. Like, no pressure to you guys, but it's your senior night and they want to beat you too. Like, we, you guys, we came out and we beat them on their senior night and I can't imagine how that was going to feel, and so they came back, and like they came here to try and put it to us, but I don't know. The feeling was kind of, it was kind of surreal, getting called off with the rest of the seniors all together, like, and knowing we had just broken that streak, it was, 
it was a special moment for sure. A surreal one for sure. And thank you so much for all of your contributions here at Wilsonville. And uh, we hope that, honestly, you have a great four years. Congratulations. You ready? So I'm here with Grace Meger, who, as the team manager for this basketball club, will be headed to Marquette University, where she'll be throwing javelin for the track team. But a couple quick questions about basketball, Grace. Number one is playing in front of a more full crowd tonight. How did that feel, and how was the energy here tonight? Oh, it was great. It was wonderful to have all these people here to cheer us on. It was a big time win. It was great. We fed off the crowd. They got the bench going, helped the players get going, and we just completely shut them down. It was great. And then uh, the other thing is being able to sweep the rivals such as the LaSalle Falcons. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? It's great, man. First time in the four years I've been here, I know that for sure that we've won twice. It's the first time they've lost twice to a league opponent. You know, we went from being the first league opponent to beat them to being the first to beat them twice. It's a great way to go out as a senior. I wouldn't imagine a better way. A special night, certainly, here at Wilsonville High School. And thank you so much. And congrats. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, buddy. So I'm here with senior wing Ellie Grano, who's headed to Oregon to study business just next fall. So I had a couple questions for Ellie. Number one being, what was it like to play in front of a massive home crowd on this night? Um, I just like, think that we're honestly so lucky. And like me, I know me and my team are so grateful to be able to like actually have like a last home game, like a real, like, I don't really know, but it's just like, it's, it's so nice, and I don't think it would have been, it obviously wouldn't have been the same if we were empty stands, so, I mean, I, we're all just so grateful for it, and we're so lucky. Uh, and then number two, alongside getting to 10 wins, you guys were able to sweep the Falcons in the season series, so how did that one feel, and uh, can you kind of run me down on that one a little bit? That one was kind of just like needed and just such a relief. Like, I know all of us would have been pissed till the day we died if we lost to this team. And we stuck it to them tonight and showed them who truly is better. So I think, yeah, it's just crazy. I'm so excited and I'm so happy for my team. Well, thank you so much and a great game you guys played tonight and congrats. Thank you. <laughs>